My name is Patrick Jan. I'm a nurse, oncology nurse from Germany. Um, I'm working at the University Hospital in Halle as a, as a position as a, a, a lead head of the Clinical Nursing Research Unit. And I'm also a member of the COC board, that means the uh, National uh, Cancer Nursing Society in Germany. And I'm also part of the uh, EONS Educational Working Group. Cachexia is, is a very common um, and maybe underestimated uh, symptom in, in cancer patients and it uh, comes about 50 to 80 percent of all cancer patients suffering from cachexia, anorexia, cachexia and, um, and what the uh, importance maybe highlights is that up to 20 percent of all cancer deaths are related to cachexia so that's a really very severe situation that emerged and we have until now we uh, uh, don't, we have uh, general treatment options like nutritional counseling and uh, exercising and um, observing the nutritional impacting symptoms but um, um, this was also part of our discussion in the workshop we have now also emerging new drugs that help us to um, overcome um, these uh, situation in terms that we um, Patients gain more appetite. Uh, Anamoroline is one of these uh, drugs, and we could show, um, presented also data here, that uh, um, the quality of life in these patients changed very much, and they have a new perception of their situation. They're feeling less pressured by their family to gain weight, and uh, and so on. And I think it's uh, if we could uh, make changes in that situation, uh, it's uh, very valuable for the patients, and it's a very huge task for nursing because they are very close to these patients in this very difficult situation. Yeah, it's, um, um, the first thing is that we, although we are all cancer nurses, uh, we need to talk and discuss and exchange because uh, in each country the position of cancer nurses are uh, very different in terms of a responsibility in terms of also education issues. Uh, for instance, in Germany, academic uh, nursing education is uh, it's not the basic way. The basic way is the diploma way, non-academic way, and also in terms of continuous education. Cancer nursing is not connected with a master degree yet, and um, we have very very different uh, proposition on this. And it's. Uh, the first start is uh, to re uh, recognize this and discuss uh, ways and develop role models where we could uh, move on. People are very friendly and uh, I, I love what I've seen from Dublin I love very much and uh, uh, the venue contributes to that because uh, it's very uncommon but it's uh, nice to be in a, in a, in a stadium <laughs> and uh, if you uh, walk out of the different uh, halls then you always have the view on the um, green field <laughs> and it's, um, this is um, it's a very nice venue and I think from the participants, uh, although we have not so much nursing participants from Germany, that we have uh, 43 countries uh, spreading and uh, it's, uh, it's inspiring to have an exchange on this and I didn't see um, so much uh, also scientific and clinical focused discussions. Um, uh, I didn't see it in a Ian's conference um, um, so far before, like uh, we had it here as well. It's, and it's, yeah, it's it's connected to everything. <laughs>